Hey guys. So today we are going to be making vegan chorizo tacos. And I want to be super clear. This is, I am not vegan. <laughs> I like meat. I enjoy it. But again, as I said in my previous videos, I like to have like meatless things from time to time. Um, because it helps like, it makes it up so fun, you know? So fun. <laughs> but anyway, we're making tacos and a couple things are not like the butter and the sour cream are not vegan. They're, they're real because there weren't any substitutes where I was because he will have started hoarding again. So, you know, <laughs> but let's go over what we will have today. Today, we will have the following spread. Okay, please ignore this. It's like, it's stuff. <laughs> um, so you've got the chorizo, of course, the chorizo crumbles. My Morty Star, Morty Star has been snapping lately, you guys. Like, they have these pepperoni bites that are like pizza rolls, but healthier. And like, obviously, like you still have to like have everything in moderation, but it's so good. They're so good. I would recommend them. Ten out of ten. Okay. Then we have onions, chopped, of course, because you guys know I love a good chopped onion. We've got butter. Sorry, there's plant-based butter, but this butter was on sale, so that's what we got. <laughs> We've got uh, romaine lettuce from the top. A good bad salad, you guys. I love a good bad salad because it's good as a side and it's good to top your tacos with, and you don't have to do anything, which I like. <laughs> and we've got the cheese, a vile life, 100% vegan cheese. Again, 10 out of 10, would recommend. This actually does melt. I had the slices the other day, and they were good on, like, some turkey burger, so I would actually recommend. But, I mean, it's so expensive. It's, like, $4.99 per bag, so it's super annoying. But, 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 <laughs> a lot of things are that price, and we just don't think about it. Like, the eggnog egg, or that was there was, like, a dollar or three forty nine. I'm sorry. So, for something seasonal, you can try this. I mean, it's good. I recommend it. It's a <laughs> I know my cat's doing something that I don't want him to do. Okay. Uh, spinach. I usually get the fresh. It's like $1.49 for like a bundle of fresh spinach at like Smith's. I know he's doing something. No. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> taco shells. <laughs> we got the corn. We got the corn tortillas because, you know. <laughs> I know he's doing that thing. They're gluten free. And, you know. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> He's never chatty. You guys, hold on. My cat is never chatty except when he's doing something he's not supposed to be doing. So, so this is my kid. Hi. His name's Chalupa. Ugh. And he's like over me because I picked him up like a lot today. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, I have this like Christmas tree garland. Or I have a Christmas tree and I have garland that's like green so like I raise it up high because he's taken it down a couple times but I mean he's only three he's supposed to be like you know playful and stuff like that so like I get it I totally get it it's like sparkly shiny it's what got me in the first place but you know I did have to move it up and now he's like mad <laughs> anyway back to tacos <laughs> spinach first um we're gonna make sure our spinach is clean because a lot of times there's like dirt in spinach spinach is just gonna be a side we're not gonna actually put these in the taco these are clean by the way <laughs> i just did them earlier because I, I like to clean as i go you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but yeah they like have dirt in them and i don't know if that's like authentic or if, like for example oh it just fell off but and whatever like, I don't know if, like, <laughs> they naturally have dirt in them or if people are like, let me throw a little sprinkle of authenticity in here. Oh, here we go. Perfect example. So, see? That's dirt. You want to get that off your spinach. Ha! Yeah. So, I just let a little bit of butter melt in there. And we're just going to add it a little, some at a time because I don't like every adding everything at once because like as you can see it's a lot and as you know it's a lot you know and I really don't really like, do too much to it because like I love spinach like spinach can like be cool on its own so you know <laughs> 
So I melt a little butter on my pan. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put a tortilla down. I'm only having one taco. Because <laughs> I have sides with it. Again, you guys, just as it's healthy, it doesn't mean you have to have a whole bunch. Um, I would recommend for this probably like one or two because of the chorizo. Like, I know it's like vegetarian or vegan, but it's still chorizo. <laughs> so because of the sodium content, you definitely want to have like one or two. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how lovely and golden brown that is. It looks so good. Doesn't it look so good? Gosh. I'm just almost done. <laughs> Carrots are done. I pretty much just let those go for probably like a half hour. So the instructions say to add a third cup of water. I did not add it a couple of tablespoons because I'm only making one taco. <laughs> you hear that? It's like going off right now. Okay, so I add fake hair, imaginary hair right here. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so I added a little bit, so I'm just going to add a little bit of my treats. I'm only going to add about this much because I'm making one taco again. And I'm going to freeze the rest, so. Chorizo is done. It's nice and brown, nice and crumbly. So we're going to go ahead and make our taco now. Okay, so as you can see, got our sides in there, got our spinach, our carrots going, and I got a tortilla ready. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get our chorizo meat. In the taco. In the tortilla. People are cringing, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, what are doing here? Okay. And then we're going to add... Actually? No. I need that. Okay. And then we're going to add some onion, some dark onion for the topping. Uh, you need chopped onion or it's not a taco. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. <laughs> Usually I would have pico de gallo, but I don't have any um, pico or tomatoes. So there we go. Actually, no. No, we'll choose. No. <laughs> lettuce! <laughs> we'll do a little lettuce first. You stumble across a piece, no, no worries, you know? We're just going to crumble that thing up. Okay, and then we got cheese. Okay. And then we're going to have our, well, my sour cream. Not vegan, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> you can have salsa if you want some moisture, but you still want to be vegan. You can have salsa that doesn't have a gelatin in it, you know. But I'm gonna do this. Because <laughs> I ordered it off of the car. <laughs> okay. Alright. And we've got our sour cream. Okay. <clears throat> It's messy as fudge. Okay. <laughs> Got the sour cream. <laughs> okay. Now you guys get to watch me take another bite, but I did take the first bite already, just in case. And it's so good. I'll take another one. Just, just for you guys. <laughs> it's bomb. It's so good. Like, the chorizo. It's so good. It tastes like chorizo, but does it? So here's actually, <laughs> and I'll give you guys actually an explanation as to why I have vegan chorizo. So I usually eat vegan chorizo because regular chorizo hurts my stomach. Uh, pork hurts my tummy, like so bad. Like real meat, 
sometimes depending on what form it is it just hurts my stomach and specifically chorizo always just leaves me with a stomach ache it's not even poop or anything like that but you know it always leaves me with a stomach ache so yes 10 out of 10 would recommend uh it got a little crazy on my end but that was my own fault <laughs> that was my own fault so definitely recommend these tacos um if you're vegan you'll love it if you're not vegan you'll still love it uh yeah i'd recommend maybe like one or two have one of those but yeah anyway thanks for watching guys bye